Well, hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, here's your weekly reading. General reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for everyone else. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Because it is a general reading, um, you might want to also look at the forecast for your moon and rising. And there's a link in the description for you to calculate yours. So some foundational cards. Then we'll get some clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Also at the end of the video, a story of manifestation. Okay, so if you want to listen all the way through. If this does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, if you want to claim the reading, throw a comment below the video. And thanks again for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes. Clicking the button to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Look at this. Three major arcana. Transformation, the emperor, and the magician. O-M-G. That's all I have to say. So, what do we have here for the week? Yowza, that's what we have. Transformation. You know the only thing constant in life? It's not death and taxes. It's change. Something is changing this week, you know, because nothing remains the same. And accepting that life evolves as you evolve. So the change may be coming from within. Okay, so you might be changing, changing your perspective. Okay, changing the way you're, changing the lineup, changing the way you're doing things, changing the way you see things, seeing more clearly. Or the change could be coming in a circumstance, an experience. Maybe there's uh, a new Okay, so Spirit's showing me for some of you, you might be thinking about changing, changing things up like changing and redecorating the house. I think it's more than that. It could be changing the way you make money uh, or making some very uh, big decision uh, at the end of this year. Changing the way you're doing something could be lifestyle change. You have the Emperor. The Emperor's about authority it's about structure so part of this change could be the way that you're restructuring your home restructuring the relationships who's going to stay who um who's who's relate in the relationship and i mean all relationships not just the loved one uh where you decide if the tango if the dance is over okay and then you have the magician, the master of manifestation, the alchemist. Um, the magician yields things uh, in. It, he's the, um, the epitome of having, he has all the tools at his disposal in order to bring things into the physical world. Remember, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Remember that. All right, so we're going to get a little clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. Anything else? Oops. Oh my. Oh wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There's the emperor again. That emphasis on structure, that emphasis on structure and boundaries for for you uh, this week all right so what do we have down here we have the five of swords the strength card the two of cups the emperor again and the queen of cups so five of swords we're talking about change okay structure putting boundaries in relationships right it's like you're dealing with someone or a situation where something doesn't seem like it's fair. Someone's not playing fair. Someone's, there's no, there's lack of balance. Uh, so if it's a work manager, all work and no time for play for you, maybe they're monopolizing your time. Maybe, you know, it could be a, uh, um, a relationship. Basically, it's a relationship where, there, where there's, uh, if it's a relationship, there's a one party who is, taking the lion's share of your time, your attention, your energy, okay? And, you know, it, it takes a strong individual to 
set those boundaries, set the structure there. And it could be a child who's taking all of your attention. I mean, it could be anyone, you know, find time and balance so that you have time for you. You have the strength card. See all the yellow? Solar plexus chakra, self-esteem, self-worth. So changing up how we're viewing ourselves and having that great partnership, an even balanced partnership with the people that you're interacting with in all aspects of your life. And really having that peace, that harmony within yourself. Again, we can't emphasize enough about the structure in, in, uh, in the relationships here, but also the double uh, emperor, structure the house. So there may be some, I got a lot of spirits coming in here now, showing me there's one room in your house or one space in your house that is a absolute disaster. And it's time to reorganize it. Getting that structure, getting cleansing that energy, smudge your house, clean up all that stale energy out of there. You'll feel lighter for the result. Also with the magician, we've got this queen of, of, um, a queen of cups. Manifestation is possible this week when you follow your heart. Follow that passion. Follow that drive. Follow that deliciousness. What is it that you really love to do? Maybe it can become a side business. Maybe it's just a hobby right now. Okay, so really a nice reading. You got a little bit of homework, but not too much. You know, structuring and transforming and you changing. You know, honey, change is inevitable. I just want to say. All right. So before I do the story, let me get, I once again, thank you for clicking the button to subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the story about how I'm manifesting, uh, manifested, um, uh, extended, uh, I wanted to stay the winter in Mexico and ended up manifesting exactly what I wanted and when it came to a place to stay. I was in Cabo San Lucas and uh, I was at this uh, motel, lots of people that were, you know, escaping the cold uh, for the winter and staying down there. Lots of people from Canada love Canadians, but it was a little bit more of a party scene and I'm more of a spiritualist. I'm kind of into the quiet. So I was, that wasn't really, it was fun for a couple of weeks, but I, it wasn't, it wasn't the right place for me for the whole winter. I wanted something a little different. So I threw my, my hands up in the air as I was, after I did a little meditation, I said, Hey guys, if I'm supposed to stay in Mexico in this area, this is what I want. Number one, I want a penthouse and I'm laughing as I'm saying this. Number two, I want an amazing view of the ocean. Number three, I want amazing hotel amenities. And by the way, I don't want to spend more than $500. And I left. And I'm like, you know what? Something told me, hey, let's email all the hotels on the beach from Cabo all the way to San Jose do Cabo. So I did. You know, and some of these are like, you know, where George Clooney puts his friends up at 10 grand a night. But I did it anyway. Took a little step in the right direction. I got an email the next day. I went down. It was a boutique hotel who happened to have uh, nine apartments across the street and the uh, one of the top floor apartments was available penthouse it had an amazing view ding 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 I could, the the guy says oh you have access to all the hotel amenities that's number three and the price 500 a month furnished I know and it wasn't that long ago it was uh, less than 10 years ago boom just like that. What's the moral of the story here? What energy was I in when I made this request? It wasn't, oh my God. It was like, okay, I'm, I'm cool. I could go to the Mexico city for the, for the, for the winter. You know, I wasn't, I, if I want, I'm supposed to stay here. Boom. This is what I need. Number one, did it light? I left it off. I let it go. <laughs> not knowing whether or not anything was going to happen, but yet, I knew something. I always say, hey, guys, make this happen for me if I'm supposed to be here. Boom. And there it was next morning. Also, as soon as I got that email, I took action. The door was open. I walked through the door. 
before that apartment was gone. And we're done. If you like the story, throw a comment below. I hope this helps in your manifestation. And if you didn't like the story, guys, you know what you can do, right? That's right. Don't listen all the way through. Have a great week, and we will see you soon. Remember, new story every single cycle. Take care.